Hi, Dave Konecki here for, with the Farm Equipment Editor's Blog for November 27, 2012. Forecasting is often difficult, even in the best of circumstances, but projecting what 2013 could look like is an even bigger headache than usual for most dealers. The best part of it is it looks like it will be pretty good year. Last week, Deer & Company released its earnings report for its fourth quarter in full year as well as its outlook for 2013. If you have money invested in the company, you might not be real happy because its earnings, etc., came in below what analysts expected. But if you're a dealer, there was a lot of really positive data in Deer's report. Even at that, it seems the biggest farm equipment manufacturer in the world is still a bit uncertain about what to expect in the year ahead. This is the same thing that most dealers reported when we surveyed them for our annual Dealer Business Outlook and Trends report a few months back. In that report, which was released a little over a month ago, more than 42% of North American dealers projected new equipment revenue in 2013 would be up compared to 2012. This compares with 55% of dealers who forecast in 2011 that revenues would rise during 2012. At the same time, this year 26% of dealers expect business to fall below 2012 levels in 2013. A year ago, only about 12% expected revenues to fall below the previous year. In Deer's outlook for the year end, it expects net farm income for all of 2013 to come in at, at about $128.5 billion, somewhat below the $132 billion it projected for 2012. You can check our website, www.farm-equipment.com, for a closer look at the data Deer presented last Wednesday. The company expects ag and turf sales to rise by 4% in 2013, driven mostly by sales in South America, while industry sales are expected to be flat here in the U.S. and Canada, with caution around U.S. livestock and dairy sectors, which is expected to offset continued strength and demand for large equipment such as high horsepower tractors. But what might really be throwing dealers off when it comes to their outlook for 2013 is what's happening at the moment, or at least in October. On November 12th, the Association of Equipment Manufacturers reported that North American Combine, row crop, four-wheel drive, mid-range, and compact tractor sales increased by 40.5%, 27.9%, 32.7%, 16.8%, and 25.1% year-over-year, respectively. That's a huge increase for the month of October. U.S. sales at that time were up 36% year over year and outpaced sales in Canada, which were up 15%. Sales of large tractor and combines increased 32% year over year in October, accelerating from a 17% increase in September. One dealer I spoke with in the last week said October sales were the single highest month in this dealership's long history, increasing by nearly 70% versus October of 2011. But he added that his manufacturer was offering very attractive incentives to move equipment before the end of the year, and they had a good level of inventory to sell, which, coupled with fears about expiring bonus depreciation tax benefits, added up to a huge month for sales because farmers must take delivery of equipment before January 1st, 2013 to take advantage of the existing tax breaks. The downside, he says, are these pull-through sales are likely to hurt 2013 revenue levels. On top of it, he says with the discounts being offered, it could very well hurt used equipment sales. To quote him, he said, trades we made in June didn't look so good in October. On the other hand, coming off a really solid sales year in 2012, even if 2013 proves to be flat or falls off a bit, it still looks like it's going to be a pretty good year to be hanging around agriculture. Thanks for checking in, and we'll talk to you next time.